this eight by six shed is really spacious and it's not just the shed, the interior that's spacious, but even the windows are big so that the light comes streaming through. It's really easy to put together as well. It's flat pack. So it's the kind of job that you and a couple of friends could do using the kit that you've got in your own toolkit. And even the felt has been cut, so there's no faffing around with that. The whole structure has been pressure treated and is guaranteed against rot for 15 years. Just think about that, 15 years without having to lift a brush to paint or stain. Think of the time and money that you'd save. In fact, you could save over £150 in treatment costs. Come and have a look at the door. The door is particularly rigid. It's made of interlocking shiplap timber that's been reinforced. So that's going to last a long time. And inside, well, inside, there is loads of room. So much space for hanging hooks, for putting your mowers, your bicycles. You could even put some shelving around so that you can put paint tins on there as well. So you can get your shed really organised. And you know, it might even be tidy for once. It's constructed of overlapping timbers, so the rain actually just hits it and runs off quite easily. The floor comes as standard, the bearers underneath it, so don't forget they're pressure treated and guaranteed for 15 years against rot. And if you can't create a nice flat surface which the shed needs by giving it a concrete pad, then you can buy a base kit too. On the front here, you could take advantage of the windows and perhaps have a little potting bench. So the sun would come streaming in, you'd be working away. Oh, and do make sure that you've got a really nice view down the garden. So this shed is spacious, it's practical, it's attractive, and the tone here is quite subtle. So it means it's going to blend in nicely with the garden. It's a practical shed. It's something that will work really, really well for you, do a job for you, and improve the appearance of your garden.